going on people I'm out here working on the truck Sunday morning um, out here tending to my tires let me show you what I have going on I'm out here regrouping my tires some of them I had a couple other ones done uh, probably two or three months ago uh, I had these two that that weren't done they didn't need it um, so let me show you first you need to get one of these tire gauge uh, tread depth gauge and so that way instead of guessing and instead of uh, you know turning the penny upside down and you know using the Lincoln's head and uh, waiting to go into an inspection to find out where your tires are just get you a gauge a tire a tread depth gauge so that way you can always know where your tires are at you can just get out and periodically check them see if they're wearing properly or whatever so uh, I don't know if you can see that because I know the sun's out there but this tire is at 330 seconds this tire is at 330 seconds so it's getting down close to the wire at least in this part right here um, so rear tires drive tires are 230 seconds um, so what I did was I got my, I bought a, a tire uh, regroover and I started working on this tire and we're now at, uh, yeah, no, you can't see that. Let me come in and see what is it. It's at just about at 530 seconds right now. So. That will give me a couple, uh, some time before I have to buy some tires. So I have this one to do. I have, that one doesn't really need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, these were wearing on the inside. So I started these over here. Um, there's the rubber in there. So just tools of the trade, you know. Um, now let me show you something else over here. Last week, I had a flat. Not a flat, well, yeah, the tire was flat. It had 20 PSI in it when I found it. Um, so, I had the mark. I had a three quarter inch bolt right here that was coming out right here. It wasn't leaking that bad. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I picked it up at because when I checked my tires, it was good uh, that morning. Um, so, I got that fixed. But between me finding that and getting the tire fixed i have what's called a puncture sealant that i run in my tires now if you go to the tire shop and ask them that depends on what tire shop you go to but most tire shops they will tell you oh no that stuff is garbage it doesn't work and everything else but because i had that in there i had a three quarter inch bolt right here I filled the tire up to 120 PSI and I didn't get the tire changed the next day. It was still over 100 PSI. So did it completely seal the leak? No. Uh, if I would have taken the bolt out, would it have sealed it? I don't know. I wasn't risking it, so I just got it fixed. Um, so it tremendously slowed the leak down. Now, when he had the tire off, I'm sure it would have sealed it up, but when when the, the guy took the tire off the rim, um, first, let me tell you how this stuff works. Number one, here it is right here. I still have some left. And you can see how it, no, that's, that ain't going to do no good. Um, let me tell you how it works. It's a gel that goes into tire, has these fibers. And when the, the fibers when there's a, a puncture or something there's you're losing pressure from an, a, a point in the tire the fibers will collect around that point because they're trying to escape and then the gel will seal it up so therefore sealing the leak so when the guy took this tire off there was these fibers all around the rim around here that was sealing the leak uh wasn't a big leak but you know you can see what was going on inside the tire now why was it sealing up trying to seal up the bead around the tire because when when your tire is off the rim a lot of shops they don't take the little grinder out and clean where the bead goes around the tire 
So sometimes it's all corroded, not corroded, but you know, it's bumpy and there's debris and stuff like there. So it doesn't get a good, uh, good bead um, when you put your tire back on. So over time it will leak out and that's where it's leaking. So make sure if you get your tires taken off, make sure they clean around the bead uh, where the where the tire seats. Um, so I got that plug plugged up. This is what I run. I ain't gonna tell you the name because I'm a distributor for it. So if you want to get some, just email me at brotherman trucking the number four at gmail.com. I'll get you set up with some. Um, I haven't really been pushing it, but you know that's I run it in my tires. And you know if I didn't have that, I probably would have been sitting on the road somewhere. But that's what I have going on today. Uh, checking these tires. These look okay for now. Um, but I'm going to get back to work. Uh, hopefully you learned something today. We'll see you in the next one.